Hello and a very warm welcome to our second day of the Memorial Symposium for Professor Bert Kretschmann. Let me note up front um, that this event is actually not going on in splendid isolation, but that there is actually an event running in parallel, which is this CYROC camp. And uh, uh, all this is being conducted and is going on at the University of Applied Science, Hochschule Bonn Rhein Sieg. My name is Paul Gerhard Klöger, and I'm the professor of autonomous systems, a old colleague of uh, Gerhard, and uh, the vice dean of the Department of Computer Science. Okay, so uh, in order to outline our program, um, I wrapped up here the schedule, which we are going to um, conduct during these days. So you see that we have something like a timeline in the morning and we have a timeline in the afternoon. The talks regularly start at 10 o'clock and last for an hour. Yesterday we had Professor Michael Bates um, giving his uh, talk on knowledge representation for robots. Today we will have uh, Itsuki Moda. Uh, there is a, a gap in Wednesday where we have to sort of bail out to the afternoon session very late at 1600 because the uh, speaker of this event uh, is located in California and because of the time delay we needed to shift this. And then we have something like a full-fledged uh, seminar and symposium going on with a program of eight uh, different uh, uh, speakers uh, all day long. Luis Almeida from Portugal, Gerd Steinbach from Technical University of Graz in uh, Austria, Nico Hochgeschwender from our university in Germany, Luca Niotti from Italy, Daniele Nardi from Italy, Manuele Veloso from CMU in the US, Pietro Lima from Portugal, and Matteo Matteucci from Technico di Milano uh, in Italy. Okay, now it's actually time to uh, introduce our today's uh, guest to you who is going to be um, Dr. Itsuki Noda. Dr. Noda is a principal research manager of Artificial Intelligence Research Center in the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science, uh, Industrial Science and Technology uh, Institute in Japan. He received all his degrees, Bachelor of Engineering, Master of Engineering and PhD uh, in the Electrical Engineering uh, Department from the Kyoto University in Japan in 1987, 1989 and 1995 respectively. He worked at the Electrotechnical Laboratory um, as a researcher since 1992. He was also a visiting researcher at Stanford University in 1999 and worked as a staff of Council of Science and Technology Policy for the Japanese government in, 19, in 2003. He was a founding member of RoboCup and promoted Soccer Simulation League since 1995. He was the president of the Robo Federation during uh, 2014 to 2017. And he is now the president of the Japanese Society of Artificial Intelligence. He is also one of the founders of a venture capital company, Mirai Shire, for a taxi share system. He has been joining and promoting several research projects on AI, robotics, and disaster and rescue domains. In addition to Soccer Simulation League, he joined the development of Rescue Simulation League and joined Rescue Robot League as a team member. He was a member of the project to develop integrated information sharing and simulation systems of disaster and rescue. The results of uh, this project were used to support rescue activities for most of the Japanese disaster scenarios, including the Great East Japan earthquake. He also led, led a project on large-scale multi-agent uh, social simulation systems using high-performance computing facilities. Based on these results, he's now promoting a project on MRS, Mobility as a Service, as a next generation transportation system for sustainable smart societies. Okay, this was the introduction to uh, Itsuki Noda. I think um, we can now switch our attention to our guest in Japan. 
Thank you for being with us, Itsuki. Now it's your time to give your talk on how to go from RoboCup to uh, advanced uh, studies. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Paul, uh, for your uh, kind introduction. So uh, I like to share my screen. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I hope uh, you can see the my slide. So, uh, so it. Uh, Today, so, so I like to present some uh, uh, so topic about the application from RoboCup. So now, uh, uh, first of all, I like to mention that Gerhardt's main contribution to RoboCup is uh, reading application side in RoboCup long years. It's uh, so actually so uh, so uh, uh, he read the uh, uh, application domain leagues uh, like at home and at work league from the beginning. Of course, when he participated uh, participated the RoboCup in first time, he uh, he was uh, uh, he joined the uh, soccer league as a researcher and a player. So uh, he was a member of uh, so a team member of representing human being against robots, and uh, also uh, so uh, he uh, showed he showed the strong interest to the application uh, domain in RoboCup in at home and at work. So uh, RoboCup at home was proposed by Tain and Thomas in 2005. Uh, initially, it was called RoboCup X. And uh, he was uh, the, one of the member uh, trustees uh, who, uh, who are uh, interested in this proposal and strongly promote uh, this league and to uh, have, having a demo league in 2006 at Bremen. And the success of uh, at home league. So uh, he also the member, one of the member of proposers uh, of uh, RoboCup at work uh, started from 2013. And also uh, he uh, uh, wrote uh, so report uh, paper in 2000, uh, 2015, and uh, uh, finally his official rig uh, started in 2016. So now uh, it was a, a, a great success for the uh, in RoboCup. And uh, so, uh, so it, uh, this activity shows uh, his interest to the application side of RoboCup. So unfortunately, so uh, I uh, I didn't have uh, any team in these two uh, rigs, uh, but uh, I uh, uh, also have a several experience in simulation rig and application uh, uh, come from simulation rig. So, uh, so as you know, so in RoboCup, so there are two uh, major simulation leagues. One is, uh, of course, uh, soccer simulation, and another is uh, rescue simulation. And uh, so I uh, worked on both of the uh, leagues. Uh, for the soccer simulation, I'm one of the founder of uh, this league and uh, uh, contribute uh, long years. And also, uh, I also uh, do some work uh, to de uh, to design rescue simulation. And uh, this meeting uh, is being recorded. Uh, uh, okay. So and uh, 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 I also had some teams in these rigs. So based on the success of uh, uh, the, these rigs, so uh, uh, in Japan. So several robocopper joined the national project called the DDT project, uh, so in Japanese, Dai Dai Toku project. Uh, it is uh, it's, uh, the simula uh, it's a, a big project uh, uh, for the uh, so disaster rescue activities. 
this project consists of uh, two uh, uh, two uh, domains. One is rescue robots, and another is integ integrated disaster simulation. And uh, I joined the both of uh, activities, but mainly work on integrated disaster simulation. In this simulation, uh, so uh, we are uh, developing some integrated simulation system using multi-agent simulation technology. Uh, that is come from the uh, RoboCup Rescue Simulation Leagues. And uh, also in the same time, so we uh, develop a kind of flexible information sharing database for, uh, for this simulation. And uh, this is the most imp uh, impressive and remarkable uh, outcome of this project is uh, uh, utilized in uh, so, uh, uh, Great East uh, Japan earthquake in a, a, a March 11 in uh, 2011. Uh, so it is a kind of uh, uh, load information uh, system that tells available load just after disasters. Uh, this system uh, plot available load using the car navigation system uh, of running vehicles. And uh, uh, in that time, it is uh, uh, it was provided by Honda company, car company, and also uh, uh, with the support of Google, Toyota, Isuzu, and another uh, so uh, 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 organization called ITS Japan. It is a kind of uh, so integ integrated uh, organization for uh, traffic systems in Japan. So, uh, for, uh, so this uh, uh, so system comes from uh, the result of the previous uh, uh, project, uh, DDP project. Uh, so uh, this uh, initially uh, this idea is realized was realized in 2007 in uh, Chuetsuki earthquake. It is a relatively large earthquake in Japan. And uh, in that time, so uh, uh, we uh, provide the same uh, information to the public uh, using the uh, car navigation system and the proof data. Uh, it is uh, so uh, it uh, was possible because uh, so we developed the flexible data uh, information sharing database and also uh, several anal uh, 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 technique to analyze uh, uh, this kind of information based on the uh, rescue simulation. So, and uh, uh, it is uh, in that time, this was just a test uh, trial uh, application, but uh, in 2011, uh, it was uh, uh, operated uh, permanently. And recently, uh, for each uh, disaster cases, uh, so, uh, 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 so uh, government provides this information uh, every time. So for each uh, typhoon, uh, so big earthquake and uh, a volcano, uh, volcanoes. So this is a, a, a great success of the result uh, come from the RoboCup. And uh, so, uh, uh, from the experience of uh, this success, uh, so I realized uh, so the uh, possibility of a social simulation. And uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, so social simulation, so, uh, so uh, as same as the soccer simulation and the rescue simulation, uh, so uh, a small agent uh, uh, represent some behavior of uh, human be uh, beings and uh, uh, realize some social uh, phenomena, uh, calculate social phenomena. And using this kind of simulation, so we can develop uh, the uh, evaluation of vulnerability of social systems. And uh, also uh, uh, we can uh, pro uh, the design, uh, the support the de design of robust social system and the infrastructure for the safety. 
And now, so, so, so there are several activities uh, 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 in this domain. So uh, one is cloud simulation for uh, uh, disaster evacuation and also uh, to control the big events. And another uh, application is market and economic uh, systems. And also, so, uh, so uh, I uh, did some work uh, for the traffic simulation uh, to design the transportation system, public transportation systems. And uh, so another so disaster rescue simulation is for the medical uh, process uh, uh, design. And uh, also uh, now, uh, so uh, our team is uh, doing some uh, pa uh, pandemic simulation against COVID-19. Uh, I'd like to show some uh, activities uh, uh, from these uh, uh, works. So uh, for the uh, cloud simulation, so uh, we we, de uh, we developed uh, uh, so a pedestrian simulator called CrowdWalk, and uh, uh, in that uh, in this system, so a million, uh, uh, at most a million of people uh, can walk around uh, uh, with uh, uh, independent uh, target goal. And uh, so uh, we we can simulate uh, several uh, uh, ev uh, big event and also the, the evacuation from the big disasters. So uh, 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 right bottom uh, picture is showing some simulation uh, 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 process uh, uh, from of evacuation from a, a, an area in Tokyo. Uh, it is uh, uh, this area has a risk of uh, flood uh, from the big uh, big river. <clears throat> Unfortunately, so uh, because of the uh, trouble uh, trouble of systems, I cannot show the, some movie. But uh, uh, we can. Uh, uh, I I try to show uh, some uh, slide related to to, uh, to this work. So, uh, so one uh, result is uh, so uh, so uh, evaluation of evacuation plan in from tsunami. So uh, uh, I have the contact uh, uh, with some uh, several local government, and uh, uh, this is one of the result of uh, this consultation. So. Uh, uh, in this, uh, so, uh, so this simulation result is uh, for uh, Anan City, uh, Tokushima Prefecture. Uh, the, this uh, area is facing uh, the South Sea of Japan, and uh, so this means that there are quite high risk from tsunami, uh, just as a huge earthquake uh, in Japan. So, uh, so I conducted the simulation uh, of evacuation from tsunami, and these two pi uh, pictures show uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the dangerous level of each area uh, 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 in the scenario of evacuation from tsunami. And red means uh, the so high risk area, and uh, green and blue area means uh, uh, safer area. And the uh, 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 left uh, picture shows some uh, uh, in the case uh, uh, we uh, they use uh, the refuge just uh, 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 refuge uh, limited the, the current capacity. And the uh, so right side is uh, uh, the case uh, if uh, so they can extend the uh, capacity uh, 50 percent. And uh, uh, as as you see, so uh, the uh, the uh, size of the uh, red area is uh, shrinked in uh, right case. 
So this means that so, uh, uh, it is better to extend the uh, capacity of refuge uh, uh, in, uh, in 50%. So, uh, so, so based on the, so these results, so local government try to think how to uh, uh, so, uh, devise their evacuation plan and uh, infrastructure for the uh, 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 disaster. <clears throat> Another uh, one is uh, yeah, also the uh, 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 big event uh, uh, design. So now uh, this slide shows some uh, 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 so simulation uh, of uh, uh, so uh, uh, this is the so simulation and the sensing uh, collaboration. And uh, uh, so uh, in Japan, so the uh, fire uh, festival is very popular, and uh, 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 we have the uh, collaboration with uh, uh, local uh, government uh, that organizes the big uh, fire uh, festival. And uh, so uh, uh, light stop picture shows some sensing uh, result uh, movie. Uh, so. Uh, you can see some uh, uh, red circle at the head of people, and uh, uh, it is a numbered. It is a kind of so, uh, so, a movie tracking system, and we are counting the uh, number of people and uh, the speed of uh, people. And uh, uh, based on these data, so we uh, conduct uh, the simulation uh, of four area of uh, the fire festival. And uh, 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 try to uh, investigate uh, how to guide uh, the uh, large crowd. And uh, uh, we provide this result to the uh, guard company for this uh, big event. Uh, and so, fortunately, the collaboration with this uh, event and the company is uh, uh, quite good. Uh, and uh, we continued. Uh, this sensing and simulation work uh, 10 years. Unfortunately, uh, this year, so because of the COVID-19, so uh, uh, the fire festival is, uh, was canceled, but uh, uh, I believe uh, so we can continue uh, uh, this work uh, after COVID-19. And so another topic is uh, so uh, public transport uh, simulation for the uh, public transportation. So now uh, uh, I uh, so it uh, uh, in the so introduction uh, in my introduction uh, so uh, Paul uh, mentioned uh, so I uh, I am the founder of a small uh, venture company uh, operated uh, the sharing taxi. So now the, this uh, uh, work is come from uh, the uh, on-demand bus simulation. Uh, uh, so initially, so uh, uh, I conducted the very simple uh, simulation uh, compared with uh, uh, in that work. Uh, I compare the effectivity of uh, a fixed route bus system and on-demand bus system. And uh, finally, I can, uh, I could uh, show the scale merit of on-demand bus system. And uh, so I uh, cannot uh, to the, go into the detail of this work, but uh, fortunately, so uh, this work uh, shows uh, pro, uh, the possibility and the usefulness of on-demand transportation system. Uh, so this work is uh, started in uh, 2002, so very uh, so uh, almost 20 years ago. Uh, and in that time, unfortunately, uh, we do, uh, did not have any smartphone and uh, Google map. So uh, uh, we couldn't realize uh, this idea. 
But uh, uh, 10 years ago, so we realized uh, uh, we can uh, implement and, uh, this idea in, into real application. Okay. And uh, so, uh, uh, and now, so uh, we designed uh, the, some uh, taxi sharing system or uh, so uh, on demand bus system uh, called uh, SABS, Smart Access Vehicle Service. So it is a, a very simple uh, system. Uh, so uh, we collect uh, uh, the demand uh, of uh, uh, passengers and uh, uh, calculate the most effective sharing uh, uh, transportation and uh, uh, order uh, the uh, best route to the uh, drivers. So now uh, this is a uh, uh, nowadays it is very common uh, things I believe, uh, but uh, uh, so fortunately uh, we started from the simulation, so uh, we, uh, we can do uh, the uh, uh, several uh, simulation work. So uh, initially, so uh, we implemented this service in Hakodate. Uh, it is a uh, so, uh, so, uh, city located in the north area of Japan, and uh, 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 we operate uh, uh, some real application uh, show uh, with a taxi company. And uh, uh, also, so we conducted several simulations to evaluate the possibility of this kind of, uh, this type of uh, transportation. Uh, actually, so uh, initially, uh, we uh, provide this, uh, uh, provided this service to uh, one domestic uh, uh, conference, uh, academic conference. Uh, so in that time, so uh, we uh, provide the transportation service for the participant of uh, uh, domestic conference of artificial intelligence in Japan. And uh, in that time, so we uh, uh, conducted several simulations and uh, uh, decide the number of vehicles we should provide. And uh, so in that time, so we uh, uh, conclude, so we, we, we need just the 20 uh, cars for this uh, participant. Uh, the number of participants uh, is in that time is, uh, almost uh, uh, 1,000. Uh, but uh, so we ca uh, our calculation uh, uh, summer, uh, 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 so conduct uh, uh, conclude uh, twenty uh, vehicles enough and uh, actually in actual uh, service so uh, we uh, prove the uh, effectivity of uh, this system okay and. Uh, also, uh, uh, using the simulation, so we also uh, evaluate several uh, future cases. So uh, uh, this uh, uh, graph is showing some uh, effectiveness of uh, our system. Uh, if we replace uh, the uh, current fixed route bus system uh, to uh, our new service system. And in that time, this result shows, uh, so if we replace the current system uh, to the new one, uh, so uh, the, uh, the usability will be improved. Uh, improved. Okay. And also, uh, this is uh, 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 the uh, more future story. So uh, we uh, conduct a simulation uh, in the case if uh, four residents in Hakodate use uh, this our uh, uh, our uh, services, and uh, finally we found uh, we only need uh, three or five thousand uh, vehicles to uh, bring uh, four residents in Hakodate in daily use. So this is a very impact uh, result because uh, currently there are over. Uh, 100,000 private cars in Hakodate. So we can replace uh, uh, these uh, cars uh, uh, to uh, 5,000 uh, vehicles. So it is very so remarkable result. 
uh, I uh, believe so uh, maybe so several uh, uh, decades after so we uh, we uh, we will see this kind of uh, 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 future and uh, finally so we establish uh, uh, this uh, 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 we, we established uh, uh, one small uh, venture company uh, called Mirai Share. Uh, so uh, with uh, the co uh, colleague of this work, and uh, 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 here is uh, the founder, uh, the uh, list of founders, and uh, I and uh, uh, Professor Matsubara. Uh, was uh, is uh, 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 the so robot copper in Japan, and also is uh, we collaborate with other uh, researchers, and uh, fortunately so the company is uh, is running well, and uh, recently so we operated several uh, uh, services uh, around uh, Japan. So uh, I hope uh, so, uh, we can continue this uh, so situation uh, in the future. And also, so we, we are conducting uh, inter uh, so uh, backside of the services. Uh, services. So we are doing several simulation work and uh, uh, so big data analysis work. So, uh, so in the simulation, uh, we uh, 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 do several simulation uh, to design the services. So, uh, in order to uh, decide the number of vehicles, and uh, we also evaluate uh, uh, the uh, so several allocation uh, vehicle allocation policies. So it is very so uh, effective uh, to introduce uh, uh, services in new places. Another way is so, so data mining. So we are collecting the uh, uh, usage data of our services. So we uh, 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 based on this data, so we can analyze the so uh, uh, tendency of uh, uh, usage uh, and. Uh, 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 that is very useful to uh, think about the uh, future uh, design, uh, future design, okay? So, uh, so I just show so, uh, the, some application result in uh, my experience, uh, uh, but also so you all, uh, you, uh, all of you know uh, about several uh, success of the application uh, uh, coming from RoboCup and with RoboCup. And uh, so from, from Sapenker, so uh, it is famous, so Kiva system or Amazon Robotics uh, uh, is based on the uh, uh, technology uh, fostered in uh, RoboCup. And also, uh, so, in, uh, so Dr. Nakagawa, uh, Yuki, Kona, uh, Yuki Nakagawa uh, found uh, uh, the, the company called RT, and uh, recently, so uh, she provided uh, uh, the so uh, robot for uh, uh, so food manipulation with human uh, beings. So you can see this uh, uh, picture. So. There is a line, uh, so a robot and human is aligning uh, 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 next to each other. So, and uh, to putting uh, the, some food in bo uh, bento box. So, so it is very, uh, 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 one of the so good uh, success come from RoboCup. And of course, uh, in, uh, from rescue simulation, so, uh, so there are several uh, uh, rescue robots is uh, provided in real use. So, for example, in uh, uh, Queen's uh, robot uh, developed by uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Koyanagi and Tadokoro uh, was operated in Fukushima uh, nuclear plant. And also, uh, we also provide some uh, so uh, information sharing system uh, 
uh, as uh, uh, present in this talk. And also in at home standard platform league. So uh, Toyota HSR is used uh, uh, in this area. And Toyota is very uh, uh, focusing on uh, the providing the robot for uh, uh, at home and at uh, office. So, and also at the same time, so SoftBank uh, Robotics uh, uh, provide a paper uh, for the uh, communication robot. And uh, uh, these are uh, these uh, several uh, technologies are fostered in RoboCup. Okay, so uh, so I'll conclude uh, so my talk in this uh, summary. So uh, I mean, as I mentioned, so uh, Gerhard is a uh, 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 very uh, motivated. Uh, uh, very so uh, much in application, and uh, uh, he uh, actually promoted the at work and at home uh, uh, rigs in Robocup, and uh, in the same direction. So uh, 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 from simulation rigs, uh, we got uh, several uh, so application result uh, from Robocup. So. Uh, uh, I hope uh, so uh, in future so more application can uh, come out uh, from Robocup uh, uh, that share uh, the get how to mind uh, toward the application. Great. Thank you very much. So yes. Uh... Itsuke, thank you very much for your uh, interesting talk. So I'm back now, I hope. And um, uh, let me uh, ask uh, some questions. Yeah. Um, yeah, can you please uh, switch on your camera? The camera is still off on your side, I think. Okay. So can have a look at you. <laughs> yes, okay, perfect. Now we okay. Um, yeah, so um, I uh, uh, stumbled, let's say, so uh, thanks for the impressive work which you presented, but of course you also mentioned in one of the earlier slides, I think it was something like 8, 9, 10, around that, uh, your work also um, in the pandemic uh, simulation. Yeah? Of course, this is of highest interest for now. And yeah. I would like to ask you, a question um, concerning how you do it. I mean, uh, what is your scope here? What do you like to find out when you do this kind of simulation? And uh, actually, what uh, model uh, do you use underneath? I mean, we, we, we saw some models which you use like graph-based, you, you use nodes and links, for example, in the uh, crowd simulation. Um, but of course, if you think about uh, the spread of uh, Corona, you could also think about a physical model like a gas, which sort of uh, extends, or you could uh, think about statistical simulations, like, I mean, one person meeting another, having a likelihood of X, Y, Z to spread the disease, and then sort of then making uh, some, some statistical assumption on, on how much this uh, reaches out. So what is your, what's your approach here in the pandemic, in the pandemic simulation? Yeah, so because uh, so uh, we are doing the so similar way of uh, pedestrian simulation. So it means that um, a multi agent uh, simulation, uh, multi agent pandemic simulation. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, so uh, we are getting uh, the big data take, uh, taken from uh, mobile phone. So it indicates the uh, uh, so trajectory of people uh, mm -hmm. in uh, the in uh, for Japan. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, quite a big data, but uh, for, uh, so we are uh, utilizing this data. Uh, so uh, how many people gather into the, for example, uh, uh, restaurants or bars or stadiums and so on. And we uh, developed some statistical model of uh, uh, infection. Mm -hmm. 
of diseases. And uh, uh, we calculate and uh, counting the number of infected people. Of course, this is just a probabilistic simulation. So the number uh, has a meaning of uh, only mean, uh, has a mean, uh, statistical meaning. But uh, it, uh, we can uh, see uh, uh, and expect the so future pro, uh, process of the pandemic. And also uh, uh, in the government, uh, so uh, uh, government try to uh, uh, announce several things. So keep keep uh, uh, keep stay home or uh, uh, so uh, 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 not go far away or something like that. And uh, we uh, conducted uh, uh, the uh, simulation, uh, a modified simulation. Uh, based on the, this kind of statistics, and uh, and uh, evaluate uh, uh, the difference uh, of the uh, process of the pa pandemic. Yes. So yeah. So so this uh, we just do this kind of things, and later processes uh, the uh, work of politicians. We just provide uh, uh, the academic uh, scientific uh, uh, evaluation, and uh, uh, we we cannot do the, any decision. Uh, so uh, we are just providing this kind of result of several cases and conditions. So, so I get it right that you are actually using sort of real data, yeah? so real data in the sense of mobile yeah. data, and secondly. Uh, do I get it right? It's actually also an online, it's a real time. So it's really a real time kind of simulation. You sort of get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, so currently, so uh, we are doing offline uh, simulation. So uh, because the data is quite big, so uh, mm -hmm. real time is uh, kind of difficult. And uh, also the, even using the past data, it is very uh, useful to predict the uh, future situations. Uh, and also, so uh, we are having uh, uh, the, so collaboration with um, medical researchers. Right. So, uh, so, uh, so and uh, we are trying to integrate the so, uh, both model of a medical model and also the human mobility model. Yeah, this was a follow-up question. Actually, you mentioned in your crowd walk simulation that you have fast and large-scale data. And my yeah. question, I mean, I mean, mobile phone data. And now being currently in Japan with over 100 million people, of course, I mean, this should be really huge. So, how much do you need? I mean, do you need a, a huge uh, operating center for for uh, computers? Or do you have? Crowd computing in, I mean, how much should we imagine? How much resources do you need to do all this processing? Uh, yes, actually, so uh, it requires quite a big computational power. And uh, fortunately, so my institute has uh, uh, so uh, one big uh, supercomputer. And you, uh, we are utilizing uh, this uh, resource. Uh, but uh, is, uh, still, uh, this kind of supercomputer is uh, so uh, data is so big, and also the simulation is uh, very heavy. So uh, uh, and also uh, so we are so, uh, 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 in Japan. So uh, we are uh, forming a team. Mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, researchers uh, that have uh, that kind of computer resources. Yeah, and at the very end, um, Professor, uh, Dr. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, products. Yeah, so you mentioned this impact uh, RoboCup had all in all on sort of real world things like you mentioned Kiva system, you mentioned HSR and Pepper. Um, can you foresee what, what would potentially happen next, yeah? So in the sense of uh, 
do you see that now Rescue Simulation League might be beneficial for this kind of simulation so that it's sort of that the states may have easier access to, let's say, this kind of knowledge and such the pandemic could be understood very much better. So would, what would be sort of the next step to promote our insights from RoboCup to society helpful things or programs? What would be your guess? Yeah, so unfortunately, so uh, we are having several activity to uh, provide this kind of uh, output to the society. And uh, at, uh, so uh, for example, uh, in Rescue Simulation League, the, so, uh, so participant and uh, executive committee of this league is promoting uh, our result to uh, United Nations. Wow. And uh, so this is very so uh, uh, good direction to uh, so uh, show our uh, so research result to the public. And uh, so I think uh, 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 so each league, for example, so at home league, at work league, uh, also has the contact to the real uh, world for companies and uh, of course uh, uh, so government and so on and so on so so it is a very good direction uh, of the robocup activity and uh, uh, i believe this is one of the dream of get how to think uh, thinking yes and of course now as you mentioned Gerhard, again uh, it's okay i would probably ask like to ask you a final um, uh, question also uh, connected to him, so can you recollect any, let's say, personal memory uh, uh, with Gerhard, or do you have something like an anecdote or something like that? I mean, you mentioned <laughs> a soccer playing thing, yeah, MSL robots versus humans. I mean, I always vividly remember that Gerhard was sort of insisting on we have to have this game. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, do you have some some special memory which you like to share, maybe, with with what you experienced with Gerhard? Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, so I think, uh, so, you know, because, so, 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 uh, Gerhard and I uh, was, uh, so, friend long years, uh, from the beginning of RoboCup. And so, uh, uh, and when, uh, so, uh, we had the RoboCup 90, uh, uh, the 2015, in uh, Leipzig, yeah. I think. Um, uh, so he was uh, uh, the co uh, co chair of the uh, event, and in that time, I uh, I was the president of Robocup, and uh, uh, I uh, so we had uh, several hard discussion and negotiation between them, and uh, in that time, so he was so. Uh, 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 hard negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and it is about, uh, so, and, and nowadays it is a very, it is a very good memory, but in that time, so, uh, sometimes uh, uh, we uh, fight each other <laughs> on so the discussion. You would not believe it. You would not believe it. Yesterday, we asked the same question to Michael Bates. And yeah. he gave essentially the same answer. He said <laughs> the same answer. He said he was so opinionated that it was yeah. very, very difficult to talk to him. But ultimately, I mean, everything was settled and was fine again. Yeah. But this opinionatedness and this debate thing, this is probably which everybody of us remembers very vividly of Gerhard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a very nice closing word now. So uh, I'd like to thank you very, very much to uh, have been with us and presenting this very interesting and intriguing talk. So thanks again. I would like just to... Oh, sorry, I got two more questions from the audience. And as there are questions from the audience, we should mm -hmm. see lots of time left. Maybe we can ask the question from the audience to you. So, but they have to be reflected to me here on my screen. Just a second. Yeah. So thank you for your uh, great presentation. In the case of catastrophes, assigning quickly the resources is critical for saving people. 
what is your strategy there? Oh, the question uh -huh. is actually carrying on. Humans would rescue children first or maybe medics who can be helpful later. My question is, what is your vision for the future of AI in respect to the ethic values? How can mm -hmm. AI help you to promote, let's say, ethic questions? Whom to, care, whom to take care first and how to organize, how to arrange? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a very important question, and uh, uh, actually, so in the so rescue simulation and evacuation simulation, uh, so we designed very carefully in this uh, uh, so, uh, viewpoint, and uh, the uh, currently uh, uh, more important point is that uh, uh, that people tend to think the situation is normal, even in the case it is an emergency case. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, it is, uh, so at least in, uh, in Japan, we found this, uh, several uh, phenomena. So people do not escape even in the emergency case. So uh, we are fo currently we are focusing this case. So in this case, ethics is relatively uh, uh, not so serious things. But so, uh, so we, uh, how to uh, uh, let them know this is quite in, uh, important timing or uh, situation. So, and also, so we need to think about the kind of ethics things and uh, human behavior things. For example, so uh, help the children first or something. Uh, but uh, and we can implement this kind of things uh, 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 in the simulation. But uh, uh, currently, the main topic is. Uh, like that, so we keep the model simple now. But uh, of course, uh, in future, so we need to think uh, this kind of ethics thing. Uh, uh, and also another viewpoint is that technology and science just provide some result and uh, decision and judgment is another side like politics things or something. So uh, it is uh, uh, so uh, my current answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, is there anything more now? Okay, then thank you once again, uh, uh, Itsuki, for being with us. I just like to note for the audience once again, please don't forget on Wednesday, we have two talks, actually one at two o'clock, till 1400 to 600, Robert Planet Tutorial by Oscar Lima, one of our former students. And lastly, we'll have tomorrow's talk in the sequence of the memorial talks for Gerd Kretschmann at 1600, given by Dear Calls, joining us from Silicon Valley. So thank you for now. So I close down the meeting by now and hope to see you again tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.